how to implement forms in angular and how to use them effectively we will discuss that but after the intro Hi everyone, this is Subhat and you are watching Fun of Heuristic. So on this channel, you will get to know about the programming languages, the algorithm and all about the frameworks. So please consider subscribing if you haven't it. If you are a web developer, you will going to use or you are using the forms in your day to day life. And if you are new to the web development, the form is same as the form in, the, in our real life. So in our real life form, we will fill some data and provide it to the uh, corresponding provider like you are applying for a license applying for a loan anything that you need to give a form so that they will get the data get your data so here also the form is kind of same and as a developer we are uh, giving a form to a user so that user can give the data and give it back to us and we can use that data to store in our server or to write some write to some files is depend on the scenario or the requirement so in angular we will generally use two types of forms one is reactive form which is widely used and another one is template driven form which is also okay to be used so the template driven form is a simple one so it's for a simple application so like your application is pretty small and it doesn't require many validations and all so it's good to go with it. So the reactive form is a more powerful one. So what it will do, uh, it gives you power to, um, to manipulate with the validation according to the reaction of the user. Reaction means the input. So that you can check the input of the user and uh, add some condition to it so that in the first, some field may require and user add some data according to those field, that field some other field may not be required so all those things you can do like and it will be pretty easy to do do those things that's where the reactive forms help us so in today's video our focus will be on template driven form so that it will be for starting it will be easy uh, and it will be uh, good also so that you can see here so just added a template so if, if I will go to the browser so it's ha just have a name nothing else so now the form reactive form comes into the picture which you gave a ng model here and assign that ng model as a name one name one from the variable and what I'm doing I'm giving a ID here template ID and we assign those ID that I assign the ng model to the ID so that what it will do it will instance it like it will grab all the behavior of the ng model so that we can use this ID that is for name in, in case this is not this name okay don't be confused in that uh, I can give here uh, name ID also so now the template driven forms come to, in, into the picture so here we are saying the name ID not invalid name ID is the ID which is which I shown you that we assign from ng model and we're saying that if that is invalid and how it know that it's invalid okay so we provide in the input we gave two fields like the required and mean length equals to four like if it required means some value is there mean length means mean length the minimum length if those two are not matches this is say that this is invalid and we are checking condition like and dirty or touched dirty means you change something then leave that place that is become dirty and touched it just click on that and you leave that place that is become touched so if it is dirty and touched and is invalid then we are going to render these things okay and inside here we are checking name id dot errors dot dot required if it is required is invalid it will show name is required so if the mean length is invalid it will show the minimum length character is invalid so if, if i will go here we'll see that nothing is displayed when i touched and move the place this came name is required because this got activated is touched and so we're saying that required is there so this is required this got displayed okay now if i added some value it will 
ask till, till, till the length is 4 okay so as, as I give an mean length as 4 it will ask the value suppose I write till the mean length is become 4 it will just ask me the value so that's the basic thing so here uh, I used a single form like a single field not a form single field you can add two or three fields or four fields according to you and in the submit you can check these things also if name is valid like is if name is invalid all the things is not valid then submit the form else don't submit it and you can do all the operation you want so that's it for today today you learn what is a form and how to which how many types of forms are there in angular and how to use that in our application effectively not all the form but the template driven forms so what it is a simple form but it's the very easier to start easier to get your hand around so in the next video we'll learn about reactive form and we'll use that the angular material form so it will be look nice and all please like the video if you liked it and please subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet and please leave some comment in the comment section below and please share this video among a friend we are going to meet in the next video. Till that, stay happy. Bye-bye.